This is Andrew Botswick. The song is called You're Mine. And Andrew, I think this is your first time you're entering our song reviews. So here we go. I know I shouldn't have called, but there are just a few things that are taking up my mind. A guy at the bar who's drinking his ass off told me to go home and call somebody I love tonight. Thought I might be getting over all we had and taking control of my life. But it all ended abruptly when I found a picture of you on my wallet and remembered you are mine. You see my world's getting smaller But I just won't give up Even if it keeps getting harder I don't care if your days are brighter Doesn't matter how long it's been I don't care if you found another Doesn't matter kind of state you're in Cause you're mine So much silence piercing from your eyes And everything I heard shortly after About the things you said you'd never do I lost my mind But honestly none of it matters You could have picked up a knife and slipped my wrists And I'd still smile There isn't a thing you could do or say Try your best to shake me free Cause you are mine You see this hole's getting deeper So here we're going to start with Mishka. What say you, my friend? Yeah. I, I thought the, I mean, I, I like I like his voice. Um, I like what you sound sound like when you get to the top. Uh, structure wise, that whole whole section at the end of the the eight times your mind, your mind, your mind, like, and then to come up with a hook on top of it, like if you're going to do that, just bring the hook right after that. Like like bring the hook on top of those those and call it a day. And don't do another set of your minds at the end. The bridge, I thought the bridge was really interesting, chord-wise, and for, for what you're singing on top of it. Um, and I liked how I liked your your tone on the bottom too. Um, as a song, because I think structure structure-wise, I just I didn't feel it was the strongest. I'm just gonna give it a six point five. 
but uh, I think you're really good, man. So I, I just think you got to dig in a little more. Okay. Uh, Clint. Yeah. I mean, okay. So again, some props to the intro, right? Bing, bing, bang, vocals in. So check mark for some people that are listening that we're, we always harp on the intros in the streaming era. Man, I really like the quality of his voice. I just got to tell you. And it, it's a little bit not of a pop vibe, not a mainstream vibe. It's an alternative off the mainstream vibe. And he does this um, sing speak, you know, sing, speaking and singing well. It's hard to do. It's kind of this interesting thing that you know you get off the mainstream and people do this. And I think he does it really well, which is which is hit and a miss maybe when you listen to it the first time. I think he was super 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 patient developing the sections. I love that. I talk about it a lot. Just he kept he really was patient when he was in the introduced stuff and it really built. So I, I kept I was totally engaged. I'm going to talk about what Mishka talked about in the end. I think it's a solid song, well played and produced. Um, the guy can sing, and the hook is memorable. So, so again, top marks for sexual variation, but maybe too many sections. I thought I would never say that, but maybe some sharp edits. The breakdown, I mean, really, let's talk about it. It was fun to listen to. I liked it, but I might just cut it completely and go right to that chorus at the end. You come out of that bliss. You go to the chorus and end it. It could have been fantastic. So my takeaway is this. Well-produced track. With a memorable artist voice, interesting song and production, I think I would like this more on the second or third spin. I think that's the quality of the song, and for that, I'm going to give it a 7.5. 7 7.5 it is. Margaret. All right. This reminds me of Fun. You guys are familiar with that band? <clears throat> He's got the same voice as that guy. You know that. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Yeah. Anyway, I love I love the voice. I love the what Clint said, the mm -hmm. talking speak. The first pre-chorus was kind of boring to me. It was like a letdown. The second time it came around, I, he did something to it. It made it a lot more exciting. I love a good stalker song, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll say it too. <laughs> a good stalker song. <laughs> and um, I love that. Um, definitely, the song is three minutes and it's almost four minutes. You can't. You just can't. You got to cut some of this out, dude. I mean, just... It's a great song. I love it. I love it. The lyrics are great. I don't even, I'm not criticizing any, I'm not picking the lyrics part. I love them. Very well written. But cut out that, cut out that breakdown. You don't need the breakdown. Really get it closer to three minutes and it's going to be a lot more impactful. That's what I have to say. Love it though. Um, give it a Mar Margaret, go ahead. What's your oh. mark? I'm going to give this a seven and a half. 7.5. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you okay. think that the, uh, could we put the lyric sheet up there? Um, yeah. Do you think the pre-chorus is actually a B-verse and the thing he calls chorus is really a pre-chorus? And the thing that yeah. says your mind is the actual chorus? I really feel like he could do, get rid of the pre-chorus and use the second pre-chorus as like a bridge. Second question. The verse is very long, right? And he mm -hmm. does the same, he basically holds the same chord for the whole thing and he does a, a nice little piece at the at the end of that 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 first sentence does it again does it does it four times you think he maybe could have done it two times and then get us quicker yeah. to what he calls the pre-chorus yep definitely i've done this with songs where you just you know go back in just cut bits out and clean it up and just put in the good parts you know put in the best part like where it says your mind your mind you could do, do it twice and where he goes up on the last line. I like that. So you could do that or three times. But Because that transition from what he calls the verse, the pre-chorus is actually sweet. You're waiting for it. It doesn't happen. And he delays it. And you might turn off before you even get to that sweet spot. So I hope you're listening, Andrew, and picking up some of this stuff. Yeah. It's a All really right, good thanks. song, though. Yeah. Good I song. Really like it. Uh, Khalid, what do you say? When's the last time we had a great stalker song? You know, what can I say? This sucker <laughs> was great. <in> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I got to give it up. In fact, for to me, it's like um, this is one of those kind of <laughs> things where I think you need to go over the top and dig in and right. put this is evil, this is dark, put some stuff in there. Yeah. And, and and then once you finish it, send it to Jordan Peele or something like for Get Out Part 2 or something like that. <laughs> this is a great yeah. idea. Yeah, you can even use it yeah, in a murder, a it. murder um, show, like Dexter or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. This is a good place right away. So I love it. I love everything about 
what it was going to, what it was intending on doing. Um, some of the parts, some of the things that you guys said, though, I think what you hit on, uh, Ray, was an uh, excellent point that um, I kind of was thinking it as he was doing it, but then when you said it, I was like, oh, yeah, you probably can, you know, take those little sections that they started bringing in there and moved it around, or it could have been represented in a different way, but I like what it what is, is there. You know, I like to hear a little more evil and you can give me a little, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. Anyway, I'll give it a, I'll give that a, I'll give him a seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. All right. So seven you've already point five. Let me, let me up that up. 7.5. 7. 7. I, I like it is different. Yeah. 7.5. And there's no question. I can't, I can't critique the, the choice of the name of the song. It's obviously called your mind. Yeah. I think you said it like 38 times in the song. So. I don't care what, what, what you go. think.